When it comes to design for your web project, there are a lot of CSS frameworks out there. Two of the big boys are Bootstrap and Foundation. Why would I use one over the other? What makes each one unique? We're going to find out right now. If you've been in web development for a while or you're looking to get into web development, you're going to have to stylize your application. We use CSS. And my path was I made a website with CSS and then I found out that was taking a long time so I got into Bootstrap and things looked better. There was more organization. So I took that and I made my own framework with what's called SAS. But I found out it took a lot of time just to set that up. So I've been looking into another framework, which is Foundation, and that uses SAS and uh, a lot of configurations and makes it your own. But does that make it better? Mm, not necessarily. I started out with Bootstrap, but I found that you can stylize and customize Bootstrap as well. However, it's, it's a lot different than Foundation. Foundation starts out with the idea that you're going to customize this heavily. And by this, I mean their framework. With Bootstrap, take these things out of the box, put them together and keep them as is. You know, you use them straight out of the box, maybe put a little bit of styling on it or some color. That's great for backend developers or people who don't uh, really spend a lot of time on design. That's not bad at all. And if you do, you can still stylize it. But so many people use Bootstrap that when you get a website, it can look bootstrappy. With Foundation though, it's just giving you those things that you need like grids and aligning and, and flexbox and some buttons and some interactivity, uh, drill down menus. You get that too with Bootstrap. Uh, so they expect you to change it up a lot. But both of these are, are a great option and they're easy to learn from. Bootstrap has good documentation and I really prefer Foundation's uh, documentation though. It's fun. Uh, they have a lot of stuff there and they have videos to go along with it. So you can read the entire documentation and then do a video course on it as well. That's choice. Also, Foundation has a way to get certified. If that's something that's important to you, uh, you can definitely do that. Maybe we can get Zurb, who uh, makes Foundation, to, to give me a free certification and I'll review it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> moving on. Um, you know, it, it really depends. And it's not just like at a developer level too. Like what if you have someone in corporate that's going to really make the shots? Well, Foundation is kind of fun and zany. That might not go over so well with your C-level executives where Bootstrap might, but you know, it's, it's really a toss up. It's not just about the documentation. I think to be honest, foundation is probably more of what you'd probably want to go with. To be honest, if you, if you want to make something custom and, and make it look like your own, uh, to sum up bootstrap is great for people who don't want to spend a lot of time on design, make sure things work, make sure, uh, things don't need a lot of customization. Uh, you don't need to have a ton of design or SCSS skills to really make these things work as they should out of the box. Foundation lets you really customize everything that you want, but you have to, uh, you have to know CSS. It comes at a price. You have to have more design chops and more familiarity with CSS. That's my take on it. But what is yours? Have you used either of these frameworks? Are you looking into using any of these frameworks? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see next. With our next video, we're going to be talking about if you can still get a job with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Hmm. What do you think? You'll have to wait till next week. Or if you're seeing this at a later time, you can go ahead and click on one of these cards which has that video available. See you then.